Welcome to another episode of Dollar to Bot, an American expat living in Thailand. Just wanted to thank you for my new subscribers. Um, yeah, I appreciate you. Um, thank you for being with me on this journey. Uh, today I want to start a new series of episodes uh, on my li expat life in Thailand. Um, this is episode one. Um, so some adventures, some challenges, and some surprises that I've faced while being here. Um, it's been a little over nine months. Um, yeah, I have, have a lot of adventures already in different ways, um, from um, going on an island to Koh Samet uh, for a vacation, um, just being able to be here um, in a different country while living my own, my life in America uh, for most of my life. Um, you know, new adventures every day from learning the language, from being around people, from experiencing, um, you know, a lot of um, newness, especially the weather, getting used to the weather, and now getting used to the rain. So it's very interesting in that sense as well. Um, it just feels comfortable now. It feels just normal now. Like I'm just at home, but, but uh, when I hear a different language or I hear the people talking, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. Sometimes I just forget because I'm just so comfortable here now and so used to the atmosphere. Um, yeah, a lot of adventures is traveling, going into the city, finding my way around, you know, seeing and experiencing people different ways um, what are some challenges for me some challenges have been um, work uh, I have my, my work permit though I finally have my paperwork my legal paperwork uh, together so I'm, I'm grateful for that um, I have a 90 day check in next week you know a lot of things have been good in that sense uh, it's been challenging also for interviews and feeling um, very much, um, yeah, judged, um, feeling uh, people's prejudice. Um, that's challenging, obviously. I think it's, you know, you, you expect certain things or you want to go for something and then, you know, they interview you and you feel great about it and then, uh, it always is back to the idea that, oh, this reason or that reason, or they don't even get back to you, which is commonplace here. So I uh, understand that also. Um, just really learn to, um, yeah, to know and to see and experience the, the mental hardships, I would say, you know, the challenges, and especially being disabled, obviously. You know, I'm used to it, so I'm not really phased by it. Of course, it affects me, but then I move on and I go forward. Uh, but my wife is having, you know, she's had troubles with it, so that's a challenge for her as well. I think, um, I think with kids also, they're very straightforward. So if they like you, then they like you. If they don't, then they don't. So it's very black and white. But with others and with regular adults and people who make judgments, it's different. It's a different feeling. But those uh, challenges are very low and uh, um, very minimal compared to um, the adventures and surprises that I've faced, really. Um, on to the surprises. Um, surprised by, and the, on the other hand, it's surprised by kindness, you know, and love and care and um, just going across the street or getting on the suntel or just getting around, you know, just people's kindness or, um, you know, just being comfortable with certain people that I go to or certain places that I go to or just in my community walking down the street and saying hello and why and good night, you know, just normal every day, you know, it's just not a problem. So I, I think that's a surprise. I mean, it's Asia, so it's more comfortable, but it's not, um, it's different now in America. Also, the interesting part, uh, but 
yeah, a lot of surprises. You know, just seeing the kids interacting, growing on me. You know, being in a different environment and not understanding them, but they're still talking, trying to talk to me or talk to me in, in English. And, um, yeah, it's it's nice and just how being kind is so uh, easy for most people, but I'm I'm mostly just quiet into myself and people can sense 